Hey everybody, this is Pete, and in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate a technique to help better control and organize your forms when using iLogic to input data into a design. This tip actually comes from one of my colleagues, Scott Hallmark, super smart guy who's really helping me on a few of the iLogic projects that I've got going on right now. So just out of the gate, the model I'm using is my classic friend, Dimensional Lumber. And I've got some features here for hole pass-throughs for wiring, for toenail marking, and we've got a dovetailing. So again, doing a lot of industrialized construction type stuff lately. So pre-building these, we want to have different configurable components to make that go better. And we've got a simple set of parameters for sizing and for controlling those features. So just some true, false, dimensional text lists, etc. So I'm not going to get into the iLogic rule. This is all driven by a rule, of course, but I want to highlight the forms. So I've just created a couple generic forms. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the tip first, and then I'm going to build a new form and show you how to accomplish it. So it's a pretty simple part. So we can do different things like change the size, change the length, and we can control different aspects. Like I don't want to dovetail head and I hit apply and you can see that the part updates. So that all works really well, and this is only a little bit of information, so this type of a form works great. But in some of the designs that I work on, I've got lots of different things I'm keeping track of. It could be dozens and dozens of different selections, depending on the complexity of the model. So a great way to get organized, and I'll show you this in form two, is to separate the options by different tabs. So you can then kind of guide the end users to the exact things that they're trying to control. So let's say I'm going to make a, a shorter wall, maybe just a four foot half wall or something. Well, I can switch this back to a two by four. I can change the length and then I can take a look at the operations. And I don't need wire pass throughs because just a partial wall, but I do want to make sure that I leave the toenail marks so they know how to uh, bolt it all together. I hit apply, and there we go. So we get the final result to configure our member. So even though this is a small example, it is super helpful to be able to control the different aspects via a couple different tabs in the form. So to accomplish this, I'll just go ahead and knock out a new form. And in this form, whoop, ended up on the other screen. Whoops, grab these, sorry about that the joys of two monitors. <laughs> so you can see my parameters over here at the left and there's different ways we can organize it. But what we're gonna try and do is do a tab group. And so the tab group allows me to then control the sizing. So we can name this, so I can say uh, size, oops, size and material or something like that. And then I simply drag the parameters in that I want. So here's my size multi-text list, and then we do want to configure the length so we can stick it. And if you put it right on top of the previous one, it just drops it below. But if we screw up, put it in the wrong spot, we can always just drag it down below. So you can kind of rearrange these. So that's how I populate that first tab. You can kind of see the preview at the right. So if I wanted to add a second tab group, go ahead and drop it right here. And now it's a sub tab, so whoops. Don't want that, so we can move it to the left. Uh oh, we move it to the form level. There we go. So drag it to the form. <laughs> that was what I needed to do. So if you misposition it, just go ahead and drag it up to the form, and that creates it as a another form level tab. And so this one would be my operations. And so now that I've got this operations tab. This is where I can add in different things. So I'm just going to go from bottom to top. So this would be my toenail, the wire hole one, wire hole two. That's if I have a couple pass throughs. And then if I, I just made up a dovetail operation at the head. So that is the idea. And you can kind of preview how this is going to look. So it's really not too difficult to do. And you can set different levels, like at the tab level, you can control the text and it's different uh, characteristics, like do you want to add an image to this tab? I mean, you can get kind of crazy here. I'm not going to get into that kind of detail. 
but uh, at each level you can kind of control different things add tool tips etc 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 so what i'm going to do is just call this good for this example i hit okay and now we've got form three launch it and you can see that there is the same thing i had going on for form two so that's it. It's just a really nice way to organize your iLogic form. Helps pe guide people to exactly the design they want. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And have a blessed day.